Happy Mother's Day, beloved daughter of God. God has sent me to you today to release three powerful prophetic blessings over you on this special Mother's Day. I want you to believe the words that I'm going to be speaking now because the Bible says where you believe the Lord your God, you will be established. And when you believe his prophet, when you believe his prophetic word, you will prosper. So as you believe this word, dear one, it's going to be established in your life and it will prosper in your life in Jesus' name. So here goes, the first prophetic blessing that God has sent me to release and speak over you this special Mother's Day is that you will be fruitful. God, your father and mine says, we will be fruitful. You know, the first words that God released over the first man and woman that he created, immediately after God created Adam and Eve, the first words that he pronounced over them, the first blessing was that of fruitfulness. The Bible says, Genesis 1, 28, that he blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply. This Mother's Day, God says the same thing to you. Be fruitful and multiply, not only in childbearing, but in everything that you lay your hands to do. There is no barren in the land. That's what the word of God says in Exodus chapter 23, 26. He says, no one shall suffer miscarriage or be barren in your land. I will fulfill the number of your days. Perhaps you're watching me now and you've suffered a series of miscarriages or you just have not been able to conceive. This Mother's Day is going to change all of that because I come to you and speak over you in the name of the Lord. Be fruitful and multiply. The next pregnancy that you are going to have, is going, you're going to be able to carry that pregnancy full term and you're going to be able to bring forth a healthy baby in the fullness of time. And perhaps you've not even been able to conceive. I speak that same prophetic blessing over you that your womb this Mother's Day is open right now in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says in Psalm 103 that the Lord your God, he grants the barren woman a home like a joyful mother of children. This Mother's Day, I prophesy over you, God grants you a home. You will become a joyful mother of as many children as you want in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want twins, receive it. If you want triplets, receive it. Whatever is the desire of your heart, you will be fruitful, dear one, according to the word of God. Now, the second prophetic blessing is this. Not only will you and I be fruitful, God says to speak over you, daughter of God, that your fruit will be blessed. Your fruit, the children that you bear, will be blessed. That's what he says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 4. He says, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Elizabeth said the same thing to Mary concerning the baby Jesus in Mary's womb. She said with a loud voice, Luke 1 42, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. One translation says, your child will be honored. Another translation says, your child is destined for greatness, destined to declare God's great praise. And I speak the same over you, over your children and mine, over our fruit, that our fruit will be honored, our fruit is destined for greatness, and they shall be great in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy 28, 4 that I read, it says, blessed shall be the fruit of your womb. One translation says, good shall come to your children. And so I prophesy over you this Mother's Day, good will come to your children. Good will come to my children. Maybe your child has been giving you a hard time. Maybe they've been facing difficult times. But this Mother's Day, by the prophetic word of the Lord, God turns everything around for good. Whatever has been working against your child will now begin to work for them. Nothing will work against your child or mine. Things will work for them. Good will come to our children. God says the fruit of our womb is blessed. Last but not the least, you know, I told you, first of all, God says you will be fruitful. Secondly, he says the fruit of your womb will be blessed. But last but not the least, the third prophetic blessing, and I love this, God says to tell you, you will long enjoy the fruit of your labor. You and I will not die young. We will live long and we will enjoy the fruit of our labor over our children, over our family, 
our labor in whatever venture that we lay our hands upon. You will not work for nothing. You will not labor in vain, but your labor will be productive. Your work will be productive and you will enjoy the rewards and the fruit of your labor. Look at what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 65. I'm going to read it from verse 21 through 23. He says, they shall build houses. And you know, Proverbs 41 said that a wise woman builds her house. So when they're really talking about they, they're talking about you women they're talking about me so we women we will build houses and inhabit them we women shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit in other words you will eat the fruit of your labor verse 22 then says women we women shall not build and of course it says they in this verse but i'm you know um, substituting with women because that's what the bible is telling us right now in this season, he says, we women shall not build and another inhabit. We shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. God says, so shall be the days of my daughters. And my daughters shall long enjoy the work of their hands. And then finally, he says, they shall not labor. You shall not labor, sister. I will not labor in vain nor bring forth children for trouble, for they shall be the descendants of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. I love how one translation says, it says their harvest will not be eaten by their enemies. Whatever your labor will not be eaten by your enemies. No way. God is going to rebuke the devourer for your sake and mine. And he says that your children, another translation says, the work they do will be successful and your children will not meet with disaster. That is the promise of the Lord. The third promise of God is that you and I will long enjoy the fruit of our labor. We will not labor in vain. Our children will not meet disaster. We will be successful in all the works that we do and our enemy will not eat our harvest. That's the promise of God to you, precious one. Proverbs 31, the Bible says in verse 31, this is your port. Por this is your due that God releases upon you and upon me this Mother's Day. It says, give her the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. The fruit of your hands will not be denied you. The fruit of our hands will not be denied us. You will long enjoy the fruit of your labor. And if you're watching me and you're afflicted with one sickness or the other, Maybe something that the doctor called terminal. I tell you by the prophetic word of the Lord, be healed in Jesus' name. Because this scripture is going to be fulfilled in your life. You will not die, but you will live to see God's glory in the land of the living. You will, see, you will live to see your children rise. You will live to see your children shine. You will live to see your children's 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 children as many years as you desire in sound mind and sound health. So, beloved daughter of God, three prophetic blessings to you, especially from our Father. As a woman, you and I will be fruitful. The fruit of our womb shall be blessed. And last but not the least, we will not labor in vain, but rather we will long enjoy the fruit of our hands. Happy Mother's Day. Receive these prophetic blessings and be it unto you according to your faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Happy Mother's Day one more time.